Hi boys and girls, Norma Barrett here from the Adventurers Club at Grace Point Church in Rockland, California. And today we are looking once again at our Sunbeam Activity Book and we're on pages 25 and 26. The World of Other People. Hmm, what is this all about? If you look around you, you live in a neighborhood. It may be a big neighborhood with lots of houses all around you and cars and people going to and fro. Or it might be a quiet neighborhood where you do not see many people coming by at all. Whatever your neighborhood is like, you are connected to the world around you and you have a responsibility to live like Jesus in that world. And so, let's take a look at what this activity is all about. Explore your neighborhood. List things that are good and things that you could help make better. Well, you're given two columns to make your lists. And I've written a few things on my list. I'm sure that your list would probably be a little bit different. But one of the good things about my neighborhood is that there are lots of charity shops raising money for different good causes like cancer research or perhaps there might be some for helping to rescue animals that might be abandoned. There are many charity shops for different purposes all around. Um, another good thing about my neighborhood is that there are recycling centers where you can recycle waste paper or plastic or glass bottles. What else? Oh, there's a library in my area that's a really popular library. And also there's a playground where parents like to take their young children and um, there are also wildlife areas all around in this area where I live, in my neighborhood. So what are some of the things I can do to make better? Well, I had a good think about this. It's very difficult to do something all by yourself, but if you look around and you can see what other people are doing, perhaps you could lend them a hand. So for me, some of the things I could do to help make things better Mm. Well, there are charity shops, so I could maybe donate some items that I don't need anymore to the charity shops. I could do that. Um, recycling centers, I can collect recycling for myself or even for my neighbor. And I can take that to the recycling centers to, to save um, on litter and on waste. I could do that. Mm. What else could I do? Well, there are... I said there's a library, right? Didn't I say that? That's right. I could go to the library and I can help out. Sometimes they need volunteers to read books, to read stories to the children. I could do that. One thing I think that's really important to do in any neighborhood, and that is sharing God's love by treating everybody with respect, by being friendly to everyone, by smiling at people and spreading a bit more love and a bit more cheer around every neighborhood because we live in a world where people really need to feel God's love and they really need to feel that other people do care. On page 26, we have a beautiful picture of a beach scene to color in. And then we are asked, from your list, choose ways and spend time making your neighborhood better. And then on the lines provided, just share what you did in your neighborhood. Well, this is what I wrote on, on my um, section right here on page 26. I said, I donated furniture to a charity shop. I swept the stones off the road and I picked up litter from the footpath. And once a month, I read stories at the library for the children. Have fun, boys and girls, making your neighborhood a better place. And remember 
to smile. Jesus loves you and Jesus loves your neighbours too. Bye, see you in the next video.